So let's remove my IP address from here and see if that uh, goes. Okay, so it's gone. So uh, if we've got the IP address in, we're producing the result found, otherwise we're not. So let's just take it all out first of all. Okay, so if the um, IP address has been found, we don't want to do any SIP, anything. So if it hasn't been found, we want to increment the value of the database in the uh, count.txt file. So now what we can do is create a handle to open this file. So we're opening, um, yeah, we're opening, uh, well, we'll create a uh, variable called file name. And that's going to be count.txt. So we're opening count.txt. So we're just substituting that in there. And we're opening this to read in the value. Okay. So um, now what we want to do is we want to grab this data. So we can say current equals f read. And we're reading from um, the handle. And we need um, a size to specify a size. So as per the last example in the non-unique hit counter, we use the file size function, and we used we specified file name. So now what we can do is we can close it here using the f close function, and we can echo out current just so uh, we know what we're doing. So if the uh, the um, address hasn't been found, we're going to echo out zero, which is the current. Um, which is the current uh, value in count.txt. Now what we want to do underneath this, we don't want to echo that out anymore. Now what we want to do underneath this is say current inc equals current plus one. So we're incrementing the value. And remember this is all while the IP address has not been found in the database or in the count.txt file. Now what we want to do is we want to uh, open up a new handle so we want to f open we want to open file name this time to write so if you've dealt with file handling you'll understand this if not go and have a look at file handling and this will clearly make sense to you um, we then want to f write and we want to write to this current handle and we want to write the value of current ink then we want to close the file so we're closing handle and therefore the value has been updated because we're taking this current ink, we're adding one to the value of current, and then we're rewriting it into the file. So write is gonna overwrite everything. So let's just double check and see if this works. So at the moment it's zero. I'm gonna refresh the page, and hopefully, well, we've got a message here saying, um, the file count.txt has been changed, reload. We click yes, and that's been updated to one. So let's just close that for now. I'm going to refresh again, and you can see that if we open up uh, count.txt, it's changed to two. Now, this is all well and good, but at the moment, it's not unique. So, what we want to do is after we've inputted, um, after we've written to this file, we want to open and open the ip.txt file and we want to append an IP address onto the end of it. So what we want to do here is create a new handle and this is f open and this time we want to open let's go up here. Uh, we can just specify that in here actually. We want to open um, IP txt and we want to open that to append onto it and what this means is we're going to be adding onto it we're not going to be overwriting like we do with the uh, w we're not going to be reading like we do with the r but we're appending to the end of the file now what we can do is we can say f write and we're writing to handle and we want to write the current ip address of the user which is ip address here so if we come down ip address then what we want to do is we want to add a line break onto the end of it by a backslash and n. Now you've noticed I've used double quotation marks. This n won't be processed as a new line if you use single quotation marks. So if you're not, if you're, if it's not writing to a new line for any reason, it might be because you haven't used double quotation marks. And now we can f close, and we can close this handle. So we've got a lot of repetitive code here, but perhaps you could come up with a function if you want to, to um, shorten this code up. So 
Um, now we've written to the file, we're pretty much done because we've written back to the file the IP address um, and now next time when we check our IP address is already stored so it, we won't be carrying out the rest of this block if that makes sense so we'll come to count.txt make sure that's zero come to IP make sure there's nothing in there now if I was to refresh okay we're obviously not getting any output now let's open up um, count.txt you can see that's now at value 1 let's close that let's open up ip.txt and you can see that my IP address is written in there now let's close this and try and refresh again so we've refreshed again now normally without the with with a non unique hit counter this value would have incremented here but because we've done this loop here the IP address should have already been detected found will be set to true and therefore this block here will not be run sorry this block here will not be run so we're not going to be updating this and we're not going to be adding the IP to the file so let's uh, open up count.txt this is still at value 1 because we've already recognized that our IP address has visited this website if we open up IP.txt the IP address is still there nothing's been added because this has been detected therefore our value has not been updated so this is a really simple way to create a unique hit counter the code has been reused in, to some extent here, so you could perhaps come up with a function that would allow you to combine these um, and uh, write particular data to them. But for now, I'm not going to be doing that because this video is just about creating the hit counter. It's uh, totally up to you to tidy up the code uh, from what you've learned with dealing with functions and arguments. Uh, but for now, this is the uh, short and sharp unique hit counter.